Hacking a blockchain is almost impossible, but what makes decentralized ledgers so inherently unhackable? Before watching the full video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications. A common mistake that new cryptocurrency investors make is to confuse the hacking of a blockchain with that of a digital exchange. Where is unfortunately centralized? Digital exchanges get hacked more than they should. Decentralized blockchain hacks are very rare, as they are hard to achieve and provide little incentive to carry out. Decentralized and open source protocols. The blockchains behind most cryptocurrencies are peer-to-peer, P2P, open source, and public, allowing everyone with the right equipment and knowledge to peek in under the hood. This is important to foster transparency and attract buyers. A blockchain comprises different technological mechanisms working together towards a common goal. For instance, there are consensus mechanisms such as proof-of-work, POW and proof-of-stake, POS that protect the network by mitigating cyber attacks from hackers. A blockchain's decentralized nature means that its network is distributed across multiple computers known as nodes. This eliminates a single point of failure. In other words, there's no way to cut the head off the snake because there isn't any head. The architecture of a blockchain determines how the nodes cooperate in verifying a transaction before being committed to the protocol. In the case of Bitcoin and other POW systems, like Bitcoin Cash, a minimum of 51% of the nodes must agree to the transaction before commitment. Hashing algorithm. Each transaction is called a block, and the interconnection of several transactions becomes a blockchain. Notably, a block has cryptographic elements that make it unique. A network's hashing algorithm determines the details. For example, the Bitcoin blockchain uses the double SHA-256 hash function, which takes transaction data and hashes slash compresses it into a 256-bit hash. By making it hard to reverse the hash value, a transaction becomes inflexible. Each block in a chain contains a specific set of data from the previous block. Therefore, even if a malicious actor reverse engineers the hash, the resultant block would be out of sync with the rest of the blocks since it will have a different hash output, thus causing the system to reject it. 51% attacks are improbable. The longer a blockchain exists and the more new users it attracts, the less likely it is to suffer a 51% attack due to its growing hash power. Note that for a hacker to reverse engineer a transaction's they need to control at least 51% of a blockchain's power. This becomes prohibitively expensive at a certain point. Therefore, considering the size of established blockchains like Ethereum and Bitcoin, such a scenario is nearly impossible. That's all for today. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And with that said, thank you so much as always for watching. Hope to catch you in the next video. Thanks and peace out.